How confident are you in your ability to make things happen? It is Aligning with Intention Week at Our Raw Material. I am Tavish Cardiff, and this week I'd like to talk about what I'm running into in my life right now, which is aligning with intention. These last four weeks, intention, resources, aligning with intention, and wholeness kind of look to how we live our lives right now, what the current state of what we're doing looks like. Intentions are all of the things that we want, all the desires, all of the, uh, you know, all the, the ideas that we come up with. Resource Week gives us the tools and the uh, support that we need to make the things that we're truly passionate about happen. And then Aligning with Intention Week, where we find ourselves right now, how do we gather the intentions and the resources together so that we get the things that we really truly want and are passionate about? We have to pick and choose. If there are a lot of things that we want, we really can't have it all. And I think we all know that, somewhere inside of us we know that, um, in terms of being able to do it in this physical body by ourselves, have it all. Um, Look around and you'll find that people disagree with what the idea of having it all even looks like. So each person's gonna have to come up with their own definition of what that means and truly, in this body, our brains are going to keep us from ever feeling that way. That's just the way they're designed. They're designed to protect us and to look for things outside of ourselves for our answers. Um, I'm not sure how we get it exactly connected. Well, that's not true. Yes, I am. Uh, Our mind-body connection is one of the strongest resources that we have. I think what I'm trying to say is I don't understand all of the nuances, but I do know that getting those things together, our breath and our body, breath moving through our body to clear the things that stick, whether that's you know an emotion or a situation, a time period where we don't have control over things, you know, negative influences in our lives, what we call toxic people, which I'm a I'm not a fan of that. And I I do believe that we each have our value, place, and purpose. And yes, I mean, if someone is constantly creating problems and drama and and really not giving any value at all to your uh, friendship or your life, by all means, exercise your right to get them out of there. But people come into our lives for a reason. And I think that aligning with the intention of understanding why each person is in our lives gives us a better opportunity uh, to grow from each relationship that we have rather than deciding that the people around us are toxic and if only we had better people, our lives would somehow be different, better. Um, Because they would be different and I think we all know they would be different. I'm just coming off of the weekend of resources as I record Aligning with Intention. So my cup runneth over with resources. There was a local disc golf tournament, the Kansas City Wide Open, uh, 41st annual, I believe. And people in town, I had a house full and it was chaos and awesome and way out of my comfort zone, but uh, gave me a lot of opportunities to observe and examine myself in situations that I don't often find myself. Or if I am in the situation, I don't take the time to really look at what's really going on because I'm generally running away from uh, emotions or feelings that I don't want to have. I took a new tactic this weekend. Uh, As far as aligning with intention and resources, I took stock of, number one, my ability to play at multiple levels. I can play really well and I can play not well. I exhibited both this weekend pretty handily. And I watched myself be uh, inconsistent in a way that uh, made me realize where I was connected and where I was not connected, where I was tuned in and where I wasn't. Uh, I even found myself involved in a conversation at one point that had me forgetting that I was playing in a tournament and just throwing a disc like, oh, let me get this thrown really quickly so that I can get back to the conversation. And when I realized that, I... 
I see where I get in my own way for the things that I want. And I see why certain things don't line up for me, even though I might rank them high on my values list, or I might think that I do, or I might try to. Um, and I was fondly reminded that I am uniquely myself and my way of doing things, you know, doesn't fit any other mold. It's, it is uniquely me. And I embraced that and I let people make fun of me a little bit. I let, you know, the things that would normally bother me roll off. And I looked at the value that I was getting from each of these scenarios. And, and every time I wanted to control a situation, I was able to step back and, and watch myself trying to control it or watch myself checking in and out of uh, just paying attention to what was going on around me. The reality that, that we live in and the expansive space that is the energy that, that connects us all. And I see myself more and more looking at us collectively through that space. So as far as resources, I'm coming off a big energetic uh, awareness and expansion, even though my play exhibited tons of great shots and then, um, you know, just these little tiny things that, that keep me from doing what I intended to do. And, you know, let's just be honest, I don't practice and I definitely haven't given disc golf the time or energy that it deserves to play at the level that I started off playing at, honestly. Uh, but I, I hold a belief that I can do that any given Sunday, like football, right? I can do it and I have done it and I will probably continue to impress myself with shots and disappoint myself with shots. That is the one thing that I learned. As my last house guest left this morning, I reflected on uh, just being able to feel disappointed without anger and without blame and without feeling like I needed to do anything but feel disappointment for a second. And as I let disappointment breathe through my body, like, like I'm standing at the edge of the ocean and, and a wave is crashing over me, it doesn't attach to things that, that want to drag me down. Instead, it's a nice, gentle, uh, clear clearing comes through and it washes away. And yes, I can be disappointed for the moment. I can be disappointed that I wasn't paying attention like I might have wanted. At the same time, the experience of my weekend was so incredible and so valuable. And I couldn't have imagined all of the amazing, great things that have come from it. So as I see my friends say goodbye and know that I will see them again, at some point when we all meet up in a, in another part of the country, as we always seem to do, um, I take with me in my heart these people and the feeling of them and being around them and the support of them and, and then the rest of my friends and family as well. I am truly blessed with the amount of people that I get to call resources. As a person who has always studied people the value of what I get from my relationships is my personal measure of success. So in terms of aligning with intention, connecting with people is one of the most powerful and valuable things that I do. So I might not measure up the way a lot of people do, and I might not measure the way a lot of people do, but in my own book, I'm killing it with the things that I intend and the things that I want. I spent my weekend arguing, uh, disagreeing, and coming to all kinds of different conclusions about our world and how it works. And I find myself driven and um, encouraged by those types of conversations because they make me think they make me creative about how I see the world and how I choose to operate in it. And that feeds my own intentions. I walked into the weekend knowing that I had friends and family and confidence working for me. But here I was really looking to stay in the moment and work through the things that I felt and make them have a body memory 
so that when I prepare for the next tournament, when I get ready to do this again, I can remind myself about staying present for each shot. And then maybe I can give a little more attention to the social aspects of the game as I love to do. We align with our intentions when we line up the things that we want with the resources that are given to us and the ones we can pull together on our own. If we give ourselves all the credit though, we're missing the support that comes from being open to the surprises that the universe puts in our path. I don't even know how to go into how many times this weekend the correct resource showed up right when it was needed, but over and over again, there are more stories that I forgot than I will remember, I'm sure. And I think if we each look around and see how the world offers us these types of resources regularly, we see what we miss. And the universe doesn't care that we're missing it. It just continues to offer this support because that's just what it does. Just like breathing is a resource that helps our body clear the space so that we can align with the intentions that truly mean something to us. Water cleanses our body, breath cleanses our body so that we are able to see clearly what we want. And even when we don't see it clearly, see what we're given that lines up to continue to give us what we want or to take the steps towards it. Breathe easily, knowing that if there's passion and purpose behind our intentions, they're going to show up. We're going to manifest what we want one way or another, no matter how much we try to get in the way or our brain tries to control the situation. It just may take longer if we don't get ourselves out of the way. I will be back next week, our final pillar wholeness, and we'll get ready to start the whole thing over again. Have a great week.